What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I am here in the Blackstone Labs gym, a very familiar gym to everybody on the channel. And I'm here with PJ Braun, the former president of Blackstone Labs. That sounds very much like I am a newscaster. <laughs> mm. And it's really my gym, so it's just called the Blackstone Labs gym. I, I gave it that name, so I'm allowed to be here because it's my gym. <laughs> When we're here, we're going to film a video on arms because we get a lot of comments on how to build bigger arms. And you would think that it is the bicep that builds you a bigger arm. But PJ, what is it really? Well, your tricep is actually really statistically, if you break down percentages and whatnot, it's like two thirds of your arm. Really. So <laughs> by neglecting your triceps, you're never going to have big arms. So I'm going to show Kristen, the ultimate pupil, really. Uh, how to hit your tricep uh, with one attachment from four different angles so you can cover pretty much every possible angle with this. And uh, the cool thing about this is there's really no wrong way to do the rope. Although like your nerdy like exercise science guys will say that that's false, but your arms move through all these different planes of motion, which is if you take biomechanics and, and kinesiology farther along, you learn Moving your elbow around is really how you change where you're flexing the muscle. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do all these with strict form, but just from completely different elbow positionings, and you're gonna feel it in completely different spots. I love it. All so right. one apparatus and all the movements. Yeah. The way that, the normal way to do it, right, is you just stand with your elbows by your sides and you just pull the rope apart. You know, that's your, your standard way of doing it. And that's the way that, that you know, I really like to do it the most anyway. Mm -hmm. but by just changing this, this elbow positioning to where you're gonna step forward a little bit, right? And you're gonna have to do it where there's enough tension on here, where your elbows are gonna be in like this, mm -hmm. and they're forward, and you're actually coming at an angle like this. Sort of like, you know, if you were laying down and you're doing a French press or a nose breaker, skull crusher, whatever you wanna call right. it. It's that type of movement, but you're, you're pushing down in a way like this. So just by changing this stretch, you feel it all the way up in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's, you're gonna be stronger like this because it's just a simple short range of motion. Now from here, we can do the opposite. We can step forward now and rotate the, the elbows all the way out and lean forward a little bit and pull all the way apart like this. And now we change the stress you all the way. You change the entire angle. To the outside. And then from there, that way you'll actually be probably a little weaker. Okay. You can turn around, step forward, and now you're coming from all the way over your head and pulling out what you'll, you'll feel in the medial, basically right through the middle of it here. So what I do when I do these is I start here, right? I'll pick a, a rep range. Like let's say I want my reps to be seven for each one mm -hmm. or five for each one or 10 for each one, whatever. I have that in my mind first because they're gonna get obviously harder as you go along. So I know personally that I'm pretty strong over my head. So I don't mind doing those last. Okay. Um, but uh, really these are probably the trickiest ones because it's a weird position. This, if you're not in the right spot, you're not even gonna really feel it until you get in that right spot. Mm -hmm. But once you get in that right spot, you're gonna actually feel it here a lot. Uh -huh. Like all the way up at the top of the arm like where you can like really build the muscle a lot right there. That one really looks like a skull crusher. Yeah. You'll, you'll, I think you'll, because you've been training for so long, you'll be able to feel it when you move, move the elbows around. Okay. Sometimes I show people, they're like, I don't feel it, but um, I think that if you have the right amount of weight on there, okay. you'll be able to feel it a lot. Okay, so starting with? Just start normal. So just start normal yep. here. So, you know, obviously this is the standard way. Right. You're hitting everything, you're getting a good full range of motion, and it, it works with, the way that you're built, you can pull it in uh, around your hips. It, it, it's a very fluid move. So now you can step back. Mm -hmm. You had one foot forward, right? Yep. And you might even want to step back a little bit farther. Okay. And you're going to really put your elbows all the way forward and in like this. Oh, and in. Yep. Okay. And you're almost pushing away from your body more with it. Here? Yep. And when you get in the right spot, you're going to feel it way up in here. Because you're going you're gonna to want to be on a stretch a little bit with it also. Oh, and you stay engaged too. Yep because you're forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, that I feel. 
Yeah, if you. But if, I do feel like it's very light. Yep, it's easy. Yeah. Um, if you lift your arms up this way a little bit more and mm -hmm. get more of that stretch in there, you may feel it even more. It's, yeah. it's, an, it's an exact spot where you really want to lock it in. It's kind of like if you were laying on your back flat. Okay, so I feel this all the way up right where. All the way where it yep, starts right, to relax. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's yes. a very tricky but, but awesome exercise when you hit it the right way. Yeah. Because you can really build up here. You can get that tension up here quite a bit. And even without doing the rep and just holding it here, I yep. can feel it. Like, a stretch now. Yeah. So this is a lot of people when they do their skull crushers, they don't feel it as much if their elbows are you know, perpendicular to the floor. But right. if they come back farther with it mm -hmm. and they come behind their head more, they feel that stretch back there more. So okay. it's the same you know, method, but now we're just facing down. Okay. So then from here, now you can step all the way forward. And that was the... And you're gonna go all the way out now with your elbows. This way? Yep, and really pull them out. Oh, I feel now. weaker here. Yeah, you're gonna be the weakest So like here? That. And this is, this is something that'll actually help you a lot with like lockout type of exercises, overhead presses, things like that. But you know, you can, you can feel it way more now out, out here. Yeah, I feel that. I definitely feel weaker too. Oh, you're gonna be the weakest most likely on that one. For sure. So then from there, you turn around and now you're gonna step forward with it and do your overhead extension. I like to lean forward a little bit when I do these. Yeah, there you go. And you're coming from behind your head with it. And, and most people are fairly strong like this. You'll, you'll find as you get more fatigued, it's harder to pull the rope apart. Mm -hmm. But basically what, what I like to do with this is, you know, now that you've gotten used to what it feels like, mm -hmm. if you feel that you're the strongest like this, you might want to get that last, that, that exercise. You okay, know, you get more reps out of it. So you can get more reps out of it. Then in the beginning where you're like, oh, I'm not feeling start it. Start first much. with that you one. You start first with these because it's the hardest. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hit them all. Mm -hmm. Rep range. So it's, it, I mean, it, what I would say is you got four exercises, maybe, maybe pick like um, seven reps per exercise. Okay. Mm -hmm. I start with this mm -hmm. and I do, basically I'll do 15 reps with each one, mm -hmm. so I'll do 15, rest, 15 like this, rest, and then once I've done all four, mm -hmm. I do one set where I basically just go to failure and I try to hit as many reps, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I move my angles around. So you're so in it like really, the whole really time, very engaged, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so if you guys wanna give this a shot for exercises, let us know what you think in the comments below and hope you guys like this video and we will see you guys next time.